Omra, who's had such an influential role to play here today, getting India out of a hole, first of all, with the bat. An unbelievable, remarkable partnership with Mohammed Shami at the start of the day, when India really looked like they were in a losing position, Pull themselves into a position where they were favourites to win. And uh, started things off as well with the wicket of Rory Burns, bowling with good fire and aggression at the start. What a day for Joe Root. Now uh, his role as a batsman, but earlier was at the centre of things when England threw away that position with a, a bad hour in the field before lunch. Last day, ebbing and flowing, as has the whole game. <laughs> Done! <laughs> Coley! It slipped. Bumra, first over after T, and England's captain has gone. Real drama now. Elation from India into the safe hands of the captain at first slip. Bumra again, probing roundabout off stump, and it just lifts, it bounces, and it's straight in. Pouched. <laughs> Real chance now, India. The door is open. 33 for Root, 67 for five. Great drama here at Lords. The last ball before T. Johnny Bairstow fell. LBW to Ishant Sharma. And the third ball after T. The prize wicket of the England captain. A combination of Coley at slip and Jasprit Bumra from the pavilion end. It was a good ball that just straightened a fraction up the hill. And Coley clung on and then set off in celebration. Sixty-seven for five now as Moeen Ali joins Joss Butler. Neither man has yet to face. Two slips, a fourth slip, a short leg. England in deep trouble. It's been all India today. Perfect delivery. Look at that seam position. It's just jumped a touch. It's just bounced. It has been a fabulous performance from India today. Firstly with the bat, the tail enders. And now with the ball and the catching as well. Change of angle from Jasper Bomber coming round the wicket now to Moen Ali. Floodlights are on, clouds are in. Good bowling conditions, five wickets to take.
sharp first over after T, 67 for five. That's perfect from Bumbra. It just moves and jumps a little bit. Good pair of mitts from Corley. Just to see it first slip in action, nice and relaxed, and then as the ball is coming, alert and ready. So Ishan Sharma from the end where he got Bairstow just before T. He's trying to bowl straight. He got uh, Hasib Hamid as well from this end. And, and Kohli's giving him plenty of protection on the leg side. One, two, three, four, five fielders on the leg side because he wants him to bowl straight at the stumps and at the pads. And Ishan, he doesn't want a short leg, but Kohli's overruled him. That hitting. That was all right there, Rishabh Pant. I had the impression that that got him on the bounce. No, <laughs> it's been my eyes deceiving me. So different for Moen Ali, the left-hander, because of Ishant Sharma's natural swing. The threat now is to the slips, where there are four waiting. Oh. Show you what he's trying to do to the right-handers from this end. He's just trying to run it back, and that's why Coley is giving him all the fielders on the leg side. He's saying, I'll give you protection, but I want you to bowl straight and challenge the pads, and that's how he got both uh, Hamid and Bairstow that LBW over overturned. as well, the way that Josh Butler got out in the first innings. Just cast your mind to what Sharma is trying to do to the right-handers, and then that's how he got Josh Butler in the first innings. So it would be very similar challenge for Butler when he gets on strike. England just haven't been able to cope. Shant Sharma, vastly experienced, two for six into his fifth over. Ball in a, a terrific length, slightly swingy action. Terrific length, in particular to the right-handers. Just going to ask from a left-hander's perspective, which you, you obviously were batting down that end. You know that you know Sharma's trying to take it away from you, but you also know he can bring one down the slope into you. It's not straightforward, is it? Well, the danger one is the one that goes away towards those four slips, particularly from this angle.
68 for five. Mention England unable to cope. Or thought was done for in a flash. Mead on a blockathon. It's left to root. He's been the latest one. Weather looks okay. Of course, it was the weather that ruined the first test match when India very much in a favourites position. Floodlights are on, clouds are in, but they seem quite high. Which bomber I got here? Two slips, a fourth slip, a short leg, and a capture in at short mid wicket. Same plans to Butler a ball straight. Looking to nip it back from just about off stump, maybe just outside off stump. Bring it back into his body. Butler off the mark. He's quickly gone away from England throughout the day. When Pant went, England would think real chance. He got carried away with a short ball. Tail enders had a lot of fun. Finished up 298 for eight declared, India. Had a bad hour, didn't they? Between about 11.30 and 12.30. And the moment Bishank got out, Bumra came to the crease, and England just lost their discipline and their focus, and then the game started to slip away. And as often happens in a tense test match, then the pressure reversed completely. Declaration came, two early wickets fell, and all of a sudden, spectre of defeat looms <laughs> had some work to do Rishabh Pant 17 buys not all of which have been his fault I have to say Ali gets off the mark as well. I was just waiting because when he glanced that fine, I thought, well, that's just four. And then, of course, I looked at the fielder, and I think it's Jadeja down there. He came flying round at 100 miles an hour and nearly pulled off a great stop. Jaffa, a Jaffa. Somehow Mo and Ali survived. 73 for five.
this was a cracking delivery quick holding up off the scene bit of bounce Counting these overs down, England. Still a lot left. 's to get some movement the Indian bowlers the likes are on from Butler, a good solid defensive stroke. Zishant Sharma is just trying to bring it back and challenge the stumps. success against Joss Butler in test matches put him out six times in the first innings of this game as well remember short of second slip I think Butler for a moment was going to leave it and then ball was coming back and he jabbed at it rather late but survived 74 for five Ian Ward thank you Michael and you've got the right bowler on to Josh Butler as you've just been showing with that graphic but the seamers have been relentless highly skillful but with very simple plans Trent Bridge Johnny Bairstow ball angling back in targeting the pads here at Lords, Ishant Sharma targeting the pads. And I know Root scored a whole heap of runs, is in the form of his life, but Bumrah taking the ball away from him. And you've always said to me, five test match series, if you get repeat dismissals, you've got to come up with a plan as a batsman. Yep, kind of thing that uh, preys on your mind if it keeps happening for sure. Show you the last ball of the previous over. Just fell short of second slip. <laughs> Looks testing Bumble out there. Well, you're also playing the slope here at Lords. Bowlers, quality bowlers, will seize on that. 
up the slope, down the slope, you just have to ball roundabout off stump. Critical that you get your length right, that's what India are doing. Just looking forward in two weeks' time to the next match at Headingley on a, a flatter pitch. There's no slope there. challenges of the game come to you Butler one of the best white ball limited overs cricketers that England have ever produced but having to play against all his natural instincts here defending as if his life depended on it and certainly his team's fortunes depend on it through burst through the hands Coley at slip he's already picked up Root he had a chance to take Butler with him and he put it down it's a terrific height he'd have a good side to this Virat Coley it's a flashing blade top edge look at it loop burst straight through him How costly will that drop be? <laughs> He's bowling quickly, Jasper at Bomber, there's no question about that, but Coley is a great cricketer and a good catcher at first slip, would expect to take this. He has a great sight of it. seemed to burst through his hands, didn't it? As if it got to him more quickly than perhaps he expected. Well, like, you just look at it again. I, I think it's dropping on him. It's not flying at him. You know, he's been animated with the crowd. He's been g the crowd up. He's been shouting at his bowlers. It's a terrific height to catch. You see it again. And it's dropping. It's just starting to drop on him a touch. 1-0, top corner. Great reactions. <laughs> Solid from Moen Ali, 75 for five. Thirty-three overs remaining in the day. Five wickets. India need to take a lead in this series. Just looking back at that catch that's just gone down between overs. Coley intimating that he, he just lost it, lost it in the crowd against the pavilion. Ah! And down, but you can see what he's trying to do. Set up, yeah. See that shiny side in swing. Yeah, batsman can look for a number of things the shiny side, the position of the seam. You'll see the bowler's wrist as well. And with this shant, it always breaks and he's trying to push everything in. Good 
has got the ability to just hold it up off the seam as well. You don't take 300 test wickets without <laughs> having a bit of skill. Maybe in the back of Butler's mind is he's been out once or twice leaving the ball as well, at least in the last test match. Well, this last session will seem like an eternity to England. 32 all was a left after this. The idiosyncrasies of batsmen, look at Butler, such a wonderful player. He's fretting, isn't he? He's kicking around. After every delivery, he marks his guard, he's scratching with his feet. Got to stay calm. Yep, stay calm, soak up the pressure and show some real resilience and determination, much as India did when they were in a hole this morning. Aiden over to end the 28th, 75 for five. And you're quite happy with that last delivery, a harmless bouncer. Rather than the one that's going to come sliding in from a great length. Talk about soak up the pressure and rise to the challenge. Good leave, because the line is straight, but Moeen Ali has left this on length, figuring that there's still enough bounce in this fifth day pitch. Hope he figures right. <laughs> right over off stump. Bowling a bit fuller and therefore forcing Moen Ali to play. Just having a look is Richard Illingworth at where Asprit Bomber is following through from round the wicket. He's got to get out of that danger zone. Well, the shadows from the lights now are very definite from the players. It's cloudy.
Very solid. Virat Kohli wants a couple of bounces. Trying to get a message through. He's also got a, a message through to Mohamed Shami. It's going to be his turn. Bit fuller, bit of late movement. The thing that Moen Ali is doing is just defending the line, he's not following the ball. Looking solid is def in defence is Moen Ali, 75 for five. Five more wickets, that's what India are hunting. 197 runs required by England. I think we can forget that side of the equation. Shami again. Had two short spells. Three men are waiting the slip cordon. The bat pad is there as well, fairly straight. Well, I must say, Mikey, this has been an absolutely captivating last day at the end of a equally captivating test match. The seesawing nature of the fixture has been extraordinary and India have done brilliantly to find themselves in this position. Just the five wickets needed, Butler and Mo. it's about hanging on for their dear lives. The England batsmen will be counting down each ball and each over. 30 overs to be bowled after this one. So it is a case of just developing this partnership. Don't want to leave it to the tail. Got to take responsibility yourself. And to be fair to them, that one little flash from Butler apart, they've looked pretty solid. Just get the feeling, Mikey, that Ravi Jadeja's got a role to play here in the last 30 overs, especially against Mo. There's a little bit of roughage outside his off stump. I think he might well be the key. Well, Shami still thinks that he has a role to play here, and especially bowling from this nursery end, getting the ball to go down the slope, away from the right-handers.
moving in both directions, but Josh Butler is keeping his eyes on the ball. Made Nova, 75 for 5. Yeah, it's been an amazing test match and we're into the last 30 overs and then 75 for five. India really have been phenomenal today. You think about back to the start of the day, all the chat was about England going on to force a victory in this test match. Shami and Bumru were excellent with the bat soaked up some heavy England pressure and then made hay. And Boomer doing his job with the ball as well. Two for 26 off his two over, 10 overs so far. Going up for that run. Not we haven't seen too many runs being scored, but neither one of these batsmen are looking to be too aggressive. None of them are looking to really score. They are not trying to make shots. They are just trying to make sure that they are there as long as they possibly can. that Bumrah wasn't too displeased with that single from the first delivery. I think he prefers bowling to Josh Butler. Moin Ali has been playing him quite well. Well, I suppose for Butler, he bring, can bring in both the stumps, the LB and the bold, and the one that holds its line for the slip fielders. For Mo, it feels like everything's running down that hill, so there's only one type of dismissal, really. That's a nick behind, which is why he came round the wicket for Mo. But for Butler, he needs to play straight and watch for that one that holds its line as well. Another over completed, that's what England will be thinking. 76 for 5. Well, the partnership between Butler and Ali is only nine runs, but it's 51 very valuable balls. And that's the way they're going to be thinking about it right at the moment. One over at a time, ticking it off the list.
And the Joe Root, still the only England batsman to get into double figures so far. Shami going round the wicket to the left-handed Moin Ali. Well, Mo Ali's lined it up pretty well today. Think about him tying his trade in the 100 just a few days ago. Well, defensively, he's looked pretty good, pretty balanced. Wouldn't be at all surprised if India try and bang a few in. That's why that leg slips in position right now. Good again from Ali. At what stage are they going to be bringing on the man you were suggesting, Strauss, Adeja? Yeah, pretty soon. Well, we know with Virat Kohli, he's a proactive captain. He likes to make things happen. And just by the last couple of overs, the defensive shots from both Butler and Mo all looks a bit simple for these England batsmen. So I wouldn't be surprised if he brings the changes pretty quickly. You would have thought, though, that Ravi Jadeja will come on from this end, the nursery end, and Shami's only just started a spell from this end, so we need to switch things around. Or perhaps just give Jadeja a couple from the other end, just to have a look. Thinking about leaving that one alone, Moin Ali, but he gets four for it. Well, I'll tell you what, he'll be pleased he didn't leave it alone because this one was zeroing in on off stump. The last minute adjustment. Leave, leave, leave. Oh, I better play that. Eight for five. Well, there's a change in the bowling, but it's not Jadeja coming into the attack. Rotating his fast bowlers for the time being, Virat Kohli. Mohamed Siraj gets another stint. The operating from the pavilion end. Seems to be the end that he prefers. Twenty-eight more overs remaining. Okay. 
you just get the feeling this pitch is just running out of pace to a certain degree. Not surprising, end of day five. Pitch here at Laws does tend to flatten out a bit, lose its pace. But one thing we know about Siraj is he's going to run in and give it everything. A lot of shuffling going on out there with the fielders. Leg gully comes into place. Trusting the bounce, I would suggest. Although that has been a bit inconsistent. One thing that Siraj did very well in the first things was that scrambled seam delivery. He seemed to be able to extract some movement, not so much off the seam, but just because of the vari variation of scrambled seam. So managed to get it nipping back. And obviously a bit of variable bounce if the ball either hits the seam or goes on the smooth surface. So no swing currently. Not a bad tactic, this scrambled seam and let the pitch do it for you. I think the scrambled seam is because he's trying to actually cut the ball with his fingers. So he doesn't want the seam to stay upright. He's almost as if he's bowling fast off bricks. before slightly over pitched yeah well the England batsman very much in defensive mode but Joss Butler is not going to miss out on a ball like this didn't really try and hit it but because his timing's so good the ball pings off the bat Eight to four for five. Not necessarily an easy situation for either Butler or Mo. You saw that lovely extra cover drive from Butler. Ultimately, they're going against their instincts here. They're both attacking players. And the seven overs. They'll be counting them down in the dressing room. Edged, but again falling short. Yeah, well, you would have thought with the new ball, this would have carried genuine Nick. Well, he did play it quite late, but that's the problem. As the ball gets older, it's going to get slower.
might as well start drinking while he's waiting. Oh, that was close. Came back up the slope. Well, we saw Mo struggling to decide whether to play or leave, and now Dross Butler joins in the act. That's an excellent delivery. If it goes up the slope from that nursery end, very, very difficult to decide whether to play or leave those. Well, it has been an unbelievable week for the Reese Strauss Foundation. Thanks so much for your generosity. There is still time to donate. 10, 20 or 30 to 7,600. And the auction is closing in just over five minutes. So time to put in your final bid. Should get a couple right. here. Oh, he's so quick. What is he asking for? He's asking for fine leg to go fine, I think, and the leg slip to go to leg gully. That's what he has had. A couple more runs from Moin Ali. Four runs from the over. 34 gone of the 60. 88 for five and time for drinks. Seems as if you'll be getting your man Shrousey. Jadeja coming into the attack. Is he? No, he's putting his cap back on. <laughs> yeah, well, I think he'll be coming into the attack soon enough. Siraj has only just started his spell from the pavilion end. Come on then, Mikey. 26 overs left in the match. Five wickets left. What do you think the result's going to be? Oh, that's a difficult one. The, the pitch isn't offering much to the bowlers. And as we have seen, it's not too difficult for the batsmen just to just stay there and block, just to defend. As the ball has gotten a bit older, batting has become a, a quite a lot easier. And if you're a capable player, as these two are, Butler and Ali, all you've got to do is just put back to ball. Just keep on blocking. It's a little bit boring for the folks in the stands. That's why they cheered when that last run was scored. But it's not about entertaining at the moment if you're an England player. It's about surviving. Yeah, what will concern India is that hasn't been a lot of swing. In fact, there's no swing really at this stage. No reverse swing either. And no real pace in the pitch. So the seamers feel like they're having to toil very hard to draw the England batsman into any sort of false shot. As we said, we're not sure what's going to happen for Ravi Jadeja. You would have thought, again, with the pitch as slow as it is, that there's not going to be prodigious bounce there for Jadeja. But with all the footholds outside the left-handers off stump, there's definitely going to be something for him to work with, especially against Mo. maybe not so much against 
Butler, although we did see some deliveries turn yesterday. Not really. I think they're hoping, not expecting. past the outside edge of Butler's bat. You can see the space between ball and bat. And of course, ultra edge doesn't indicate anything. Another over goes by. 35 overs of the 60 bold, 88 for 5. Twenty-five overs left in the day. The sun is now shining, and Ravi Jadeja is into the attack at the end that Sir Andrew Strauss was suggesting he should bowl from the nursery end. There was plenty of rough outside Moen Ali's off stump for him to try and hit. Moen Ali is surrounded with a slip, a leg slip, and a short leg. It's a half-hearted appeal, really. We have three reviews available. We're going to use one. No point. No point. It's a no ball. Spinners bowling no balls, DK. There have been a few this test match. Mainly Matumbra. Chadeja bowling this one. A couple of the players there, Ishan Sharma said, I heard a sound from point. Hence, Virat Kohli going for that. Mm. Have a look with Ultra Edge. Due oh, course, that was mighty close to the outside edge. Now he has hit the hole and that has turned to challenge the inside edge. about the sweep. I think Jade just saw him and fired it in. This is a very, very intriguing battle here. Nice. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Well, Kohli has dropped Butler. And now Jadeja should have had Moen Ali dismissed, but he couldn't keep his front foot behind the line. Take 12 wickets to win. <laughs> but I'm really looking forward to Jadeja bowling. He hasn't picked up a wicket yet in the series. So he's way better than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
change of angle for Jadeja to Butler. He's going to go over the wicket. Where he's got those footholds to really work with. He'll be very full if he's going to bring LBW into play. Ninety for five. A lot happening here at Lords. This one pitching outside the leg, leg stump, but what they were not looking for was the LBW. But the bold it was very close. It was, wasn't it? My goodness. Pitched outside leg. So shouldn't be given out LBW. Just caught enough Butler's pad or leg to take it away from off stump. Generally, as a batter, when somebody bowls around the wicket, in Jadija's case, over the wicket, you're looking to make sure it hits your front pad. Butler kind of played inside the line. I loved it to turn. Very lucky there. You're so trained as a batsman now because of DRS, when you play against a spinner to get your pad out the way. You've actually got to make a big effort to actually kick it. Absolutely, Vody. I think it's a great point that because of the advent of DRS, the way batters play spin has changed a lot. They try and use as little of pads as possible. But when they go around the wicket and they're trying to hit the rough, then you need to do the other way where you try and bring your pads into play much more because the LBW is out of the equation. That's a beauty. There's been constant pressure and a lot of questions raised by the Indian bowlers. They've bowled well, they've used the scramble seam, they've bowled with the normal seam position as well. Just like what he said, it could have easily been 90 for 7. That's how well they've bowled on a rather slow wicket, which had not much to offer yesterday. Yeah, Siraj has used that scrambled seam delivery to good effect. A day for big slashing cut shots if you're an England batsman. Gotta give a lot of credit to Moeen Ali. He's adapted beautifully. I had my doubts about his bowling more than his batting. After the interview, it was interesting when he said that it's easier to bowl fast and then come and start bowling slower than to go than go the other way around. And again. The good thing he's doing here, even though it's a scramble seam, is he's just playing down the line. That's very close. It looks as a batter, you're trying to play the line, but if it seems away from you, all you can do is hold your position there, which he's done well so far. He's got to continue. We have at least another 23 overs left here. Oh. And I wholeheartedly agree with you. The biggest mistakes you can make batting in the UK is to follow the ball with your hands, just sort of fidget at it with your hands. It was one thing Duncan Fletcher, hearing from Duncan Fletcher earlier today in. Fletcher years, he tried to drill into the players. Play the line. Don't follow it. It's gone a long way. Mainly after it had passed the bat. 90 for five, a maiden. been an intriguing, engaging and absorbing test match. It's ebbed and flowed in various ways. With India asking a lot, lot of questions and we're heading into the last hour soon. Absolutely. 
think of where England started the day with such high hopes of finishing off the innings and chasing it down. India's resilience with the bats today through the lower order. Shami and Bumrah changed everything. Butler's giving me the feeling that he's trying to pad and then maybe bring his bat. That's why he's slightly late on the defense. This is a very, very interesting battle out here. That's 1 0 to Butler's pad. <laughs> I can hear Rishabh Pant saying, just bowl one in the middle, he'll pad that as well. <laughs> can he bowl an arm ball? Can he bowl a swinger? He can. You've got to understand, to make that, if he does bowl the arm ball, it has to come from much closer to the stump. But the way his action is aligned, he'll end up bowling slightly mid-box, away from it. If he has to go closer to the line, then his alignment will be very different. Again, I think he's looking for the arm ball here. Yeah. Around the wicket. Easy. Another maiden, ninety for five. Cricket still to be played. Fears of bad light closing in like it did yesterday have dissipated a little bit. There's blue sky way behind the grandstand. The lights do get a little, do come into the picture a lot more. I'd love for a Joru to come out on the balcony and. Throw his arm thing. Come on, let's get this done with. <laughs> Coley's had a change of mind on the field. Short leg is out. Another catcher behind the stumps, of course, with Siraj beating the outside edge on the angle in the last over. I think that's a good move. Edge gone. Coley takes it this time. Outstanding bowling from Siraj. The Rajas bowled really well in this tour so far. They've backed him to play the test match after the World Test Championship. And this is the reason why he's able to seam the ball away. Virat Kohli making no mistake this time. Generally, you'll see him celebrate a lot more, but now he knows the game is well within his grasp. Captain on a mission here. I mean, Ali's resistance is over. He's gone for 13, 90 for six. Sam Curran comes out on a king pair. Sixth wicket has gone down. Moeen Ali, not sure he did much wrong here. Moeen, he didn't fidget at the ball. He just played the line. But the line and the length from Siraj were perfect. Beauty about the ball was the fact that it pitched on the stump and then moved away. As a batter, you have nowhere to go. You have to play it. Well, Moeen Ali... It's one of those things you've got to accept in test cricket.
Well, he put one down. India's captain. That went straight in. That's determination there. He wants this win bad. Oh, well, he's within touching distance, that's for sure. So Siraj has another left-hander in his sights. It's a king pair for Sam Curran. India are rampant. The Indian team is on an absolute roll here. Well, if you thought there was one Imran Tahir, there's about 11 right now at Lords. Everybody running towards Siraj. What an absolute beauty to get fast up. Again, Sam Curran slightly nervous, not stretching enough, not sure what the ball is going to do. But Mohamed Siraj, he exactly knows what he's going to do. On the stump, moving away, straightforward catch to punt. India, touching distance for another Lord's Test win here. First ever king pair at Lord's, sadly for Sam Curran, belongs to him. 90 for seven, India three wickets away. Well, this has been a fantastic spell of bowling. Mirror image of the Moeen Ali dismissal. Perfect line and length. Warren's footwork was non-existent. I tell you, whose footwork was existent there? Virat Kohli. The moment it nicked. He was running, he was running, he was away. He knew the wicket was done. You're not catching Mohamed Siraj, are you? That's a bit of a running race there. The captain's trusted Siraj and he's delivered yet again. He bowled brilliantly in the first innings. Oh, what a test match this is turning out to be. It has swung one way, then t'other throughout the cricket we've seen here at Lords. It was the same at Trent Bridge. We were robbed of a climax. India were robbed potentially of victory because of the rain. We're going to get a result here, I think. And it might be quite soon. Holly Robinson is to face the hat-trick ball. The last two hat-tricks for an England batter was played by Joe Root. This time it's another one, Holly Robinson. Very, very interesting. Welcoming Ollie Robinson to the crease. Oh, we are. We were very, very hospitable that way, the Indians. <laughs> right, what are you bowling here, DK, if you're Siraj? He's got a short leg, a man has come across to catch on the drive leg side, three slips and a fine gully. I'll run in, make sure it's a scramble seam, and then pray to God after it pitches. Full and straight, I'm going for. On a hat-trick, Mohamed Siraj. Oh no, wide, easy leave. Oh, Siraj, he was a right-hander, remember that. The other two were left-handers. Main caught Virat Kohli. And then very first ball for a king pair. Yeah! Sam Cohen covering one through to Rishabh Khan. I do Two. think Oli Robinson has had a bit to say when he's bowled. I can hear almost every Indian fielder say, say something to me now, Oli. Well, if you give it, you get it back. Oh my goodness me, what a delivery. Wow. This is test match cricket at its best. Oh, you can see how many people are there on the screen right now. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, this is as good as it gets. Butler and Robinson are surrounded by Indian players.
Well, that is unplayable. I think that's maybe just disturbed the surface of the pitch. Horrible delivery, real drama. Siraj, Siraj might be shorter in height there, but definitely not in stature at the moment. Highly competitor, as is Robinson. Robinson will come back for a couple. He was on the umpire. Leg buys. Let's go back a couple of deliveries to that brute. Yep, through the top. Well, Robinson has things to say when he bowls, and he will expect to get it back. He won't mind that. Time it's bats, not pad, and Robinson is off the mark. The Indians won't mind that. England 93 for seven. One stage, Coley was thinking of maybe changing the bowler at the nursery end, but he's decided to stick with the spin of Ravi Jadeja. It's a grim looking scorecard for England, that's for sure. Again, the player to stand out, Joe Root, but just getting 33 this time, getting an absolute beauty from Bumra. The rest of them, Butler fighting here. Played the second amount of, second most number of balls for an Englishman for today. Fighting his way. We have 21 overs left. And India need three wickets to win. So Robinson is going to face Jadeja, who's over the wicket. Would you have kept Jadeja going? Just this one over, maybe. I would definitely try and bring a fast bowler from this end. Missfield. Almost every time, Wadi, what I've noticed is every time India have got one, they've got two. Which is very interesting, in fact. Not the line, the line is on or around leg stump. Given up on that back round the wicket. It's almost right under the bat. Exactly know what Butler is thinking. He wants to block, defend, fight, but make sure India doesn't get those three wickets. Any points gone to short leg. Ninety-four for seven. Right, Robinson up against Siraj again. And he started badly for England. Both openers gone without scoring. Mead hung around for a while, as did Bairstow, dismissed on the stroke of T. A big wicket of Root straight after, and then Ali and Sam Curran.
senior bowler Ishant Sharma just having a quiet word with Hamid Siraj. Siraj has bowled really well here. He has to remember that he bowled seven overs before he got the two wickets. So, what I'm trying to say here is he needs to be patient. It might not happen every ball that he bowls, but if he does keep it at a good length and is consistent at it, there's enough pressure and problems for the batsman as it is. He just needs to be there and thereabouts. Absolutely agree with you. It's almost like he's just busting a gut a bit much. Been caught up in the excitement and the drama, being on a hat trick, closing in on victory. But you've got to admire his competitive spirit. The leg slip in place now. a more challenging line and length. The one thing India can afford to do and they will be doing is set far more attacking fields. One result is out of the equation, England winning. It's whether India can find a way to win from here or is it going to be a draw. With just these two results looming around the corner, I do feel Virat Kohli can attack and keep as many catching as he wants. Yeah, it's that balance, but also trying to, you've got to keep the batsman on strike. You've got to allow the bowler to have Delivery after delivery at him. So you do need your pawns just to stop the runs. Don't stop that one, but it's got to be quick. He is quick. Wow. Well, England can't afford to go gifting wickets with run outs. He'd probably be home because he's grease lightning, but. Tell you one thing, if you think the Indian dressing room and the England dressing room are nervous, I promise you in the comm box it's as nervous as well. <laughs> well done, Rishabh Pant. That was wild. And the wide. Not many Indian wicket keepers have been as athletic as Rishabh Pant, would you say, DK? Oh, I would say better. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's done a really good job. And it's been a hard day to keep. It's been a really hard day to keep. They've tested him in both directions, that's for sure. Those comments we picked up on social media somewhere, DK. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. There'd be a massive headline stating the next is way better than this <laughs> compartment. Oh, there's a catch here in Jadeja and Rishabh Pant clash. They're both okay. Well, they're all over England, they're all over each other too at the moment. <laughs> it was off the bat, 99 for 7.
Mohamed Shami then replacing Ravindra Jadeja. Got 19 overs remaining. One of the most dramatic test matches between these two nations. Surely one of the most highly charged. There's been a lot of needle throughout this game. But it has been absolutely fantastic to watch. Both sets of players giving their all. We don't know which way the game is going to go yet. Two results possible. India win. England re in India require three wickets for that. England need to hang on. I'm hoping Josh Butler can take most of the strike, Mel. Yeah, pressure on Josh Butler as the senior batter out there at the moment. I think there's a bit of pressure on the two umpires too. Number one with the amount of appealing. Back end of the test, India desperately looking for their third ever win here at Lords. And then also just managing that intensity that you've been talking about, Athas. 68% they're up to India. Certainly not how it began at the start of the day, that's for sure. What a horrible uh, feeling in my water that Jimmy Anderson's going to be walking out here with about <laughs> four overs to go facing Jasprit Bumrah with fielders all round the bat. I can feel it coming. Is this the commentator's curse and you're just putting it out there so it doesn't happen? Yeah. <laughs> I, can, I can just uh, imagine, I can imagine it. Everything that's gone before, what happened at the end of the third day, which played into what happened at the start of today's proceedings. Is it as simple as saying that? That where we are today is because of an hour's play that was based off the end of day three? Well, I think the hour this morning was critical. I'm not saying England would have one if they were chasing 180 because the score stands at 99 for seven but I, th I thought the day shifted dramatically in the hour between about 11 30 and 12 30 this morning oh that is a beauty it must have just shaved the off stump must have been so close i think this is where you say another coat of varnish and that bale would have been dislodged. This is the angle. It's a fantastic ball. In the seam position from Shami, time and time again. We do say it often, but it is worth repeating. It's just unbelievable. Butler defends 64 balls now for nine and England 99 for seven. It's going to be little wins now for Butler and Robinson. Wins within the over and then ticking off 18 overs as well. At least 17.3. He's been impressive in this game. There have been lots of impressive individual performances. Siraj got things going for India in the in the first innings. He picked up four wickets. He's two for 23. Always runs in hard and full of aggression and spirit. In he comes again now to Ollie Robinson. Yeah, I think the streets of Hyderabad will be completely empty at the moment. Everyone will be home, trying to... sitting in front of the TV, willing him on. For the first time, a bit of uh, chit chat from India's captain. Oh. 
That's a good shot from Ollie Robinson, who is in behind the line and working the ball through mid on, on the angle that Siraj provides. The cheers because the three gets Butler on strike. It brings up the England 100, but critically gets Butler on strike as well. I haven't seen so many people stand for a team hundred before, but the crowd could play a very vital role in getting these two through these 18 overs. Yes, I sense there's a good split in the crowd today. Some of the roars earlier on when Mohammed Shami, for example, hit Moen Ali for six to bring up a 50. Huge roars in the ground. Kohli has often been seen in the field willing the Indian supporters on to more noise, but it was a huge roar then for England's 100 as well. slip Jadeja is around the corner but he's quite fine and this one was a good three or four yards to his left he's the complete cricketer Jadeja he bats he bowls he fields but not even he would be able to get to this well wide he's in a critical position there already got hands to one that went fine between him and part. It's a short leg. It's come behind square now. I think that's Rahane. So Mohammed Shami out in the deep has to go in front of square. So we've got a, a fine leg slip and a leg gully. Thick outside edge will bring Butler a couple to huge cheers again. It's Pujara who's under the helmet. Rahane has just uh, fielded that from the gully. And as you say, the crowd sounds pretty even, but I think the numbers are probably still different. I remember World Cup game 2015 in Australia, India v South Africa. There was 75,000 people there, mostly Indians. It felt like about 140,000. Making some noise for sure. 108 for seven. You only get a different feel on the final day as well because tickets are pre sold for Lords for four days. They tend not to be for the fifth. So people wait and then there are cheaper ticket prices on the fifth. So you tend to get a different crowd and a different atmosphere on the fifth day of a Lords Test match. They were on sale yesterday for 20 quid for adults 10 pounds for under 16 so terrific value and you get a great day's cricket today for that well, it's the first time over these five days we've seen the Mexican wave as well so that's probably a pretty good indication absolutely yeah so there'll be a few in hoping to see this Indian team do what those of 1986 and 2014 did What a shot, he's saying. What a shot in the circumstances. Still new to test match cricket, too. He wouldn't have been receiving this too much at county cricket. I was just going to say that. This is a novel experience, just the, the intensity. Of course, he's played in many first-class games, lots of close games, but just, I think, the intensity of this with the crowd and the noise time ticking away pretty novel experience for him one thing we've seen with Robinson the bowler though is that he seems to like the competition 
very competitive character himself. Played that many test matches, but he looks as though he likes and relishes the contest to me. I think you're absolutely bang on, Athers. I think internally, he'll almost be saying, keep it coming, boys. This might just be getting me into a frame of mind that I really enjoy. There were 33 overs left in the day when this happened. Doesn't make many mistakes for at Coley, but that was one, and Josh Butler is still there. 102 minutes now at the crease. Only 15 runs, but that's insignificant. for seven. Only a couple of catches going down in the slips. Shami also, sorry. Sharma also dropped one. Wicket off a no ball, bowled by Jadeja. All that up. India with three wickets for a memorable win. For England, 16 overs to see out. <laughs> well, it's been going on all day. Needle between the teams, that looks at least quite good natured. Maybe not. But I have to say that. Umpires have stepped in when they felt it necessary. I, I think it's added to the drama. Once there's no abuse flying between the players, I think it, it's just added to the to the drama of of the day and the game. Highly competitive, highly charged game. Both sets of players giving their all. We're down to almost the last hour. 16 overs left now. Jasper Bomra, who has played such a central role in today's proceedings, has been brought back by his captain. 11 overs, 2 for 27 so far for him. He's a brilliant bowler at the tail, remember. He's got that devastating Yorker. So Ollie Robinson, those coming, will have to watch out for that. Two slips, a gully, a leg slip, a deepish short leg, a short mid-wicket. in two minds. He, he left one, of course, at Nottingham that crashed into his off stump. He knows Bumra can bring the ball back down the hill, but he's also got the ability to hold it up to the slips the way that he got Joe Root out. Fantastic delivery. It was edged to slip.
He's got a bit on his mind too, hasn't he, Joss Butler too, because that conversation between here and him and Virat Kohli, I think, was him stepping in to, for a bit of protection for Ollie Robinson at the other end. Thinking about that, vice captain of England. Such a tricky bowler with a stuttering run up, that ramrod straight arm, very unorthodox action. A release point, which is a little bit later than most bowlers, which makes his pace hard to pick up. Oh, edge, but short of slip. Just short of second slip, KL Rahul. Butler had been so watchful outside, off stump. Definitely, yeah, that coming across the front pad. This is the delivery that Jasper Brummer was looking for. Had to play. again wide of second slip this time and through the gap between second slip and gully brings joss butler four he moves to 19 england 112 for seven drinks and almost the last hour is uh, upon us and the weather seems set fair the sun is shining the clouds have lifted blue skies now to end this test match so you would hope that there'll be no uh, chance of bad light ending the game that will get to a natural conclusion. Ishant Sharma has replaced Mohammed Shami has taken an almighty tumble having delivered that ball. what you call throwing absolutely everything into it. He does that. He's a little bit like Mark Wood, who does it as well for England. They just get a step slightly wrong and come crashing down. Oh, he's not on the field. Seems to be up in the dressing room for the moment. Won't be for long, I imagine. So Jadeja is in at first slip. There are three subs on at the moment. Bahari, you can see there. Akshar Patel, who had such a successful introduction against England in the winter. and will be ready for the slight relief at the moment, Virat Kohli off. Getting just a 
couple less suggestions in how he's playing. Great sight that is looking back to the media centre and the new Compton and Edrich stands, which have added a few thousand capacity to this great old ground. Test match cricket has made the headlines over the last 24, 48 hours, hasn't it? The West Indies having a, another impressive sort of last couple of minutes win over Pakistan. This one coming right down to the wire. Yeah, Jamaica, that test match, epic test match won by West Indies. This one going right down to the wire. Coley still reflecting on that drop catch that gave Joss Butler a life with 33 overs remaining and a thing that preys on your mind. Very solid, Ollie Robinson, 112 for seven. Talking about that test match in Jamaica yesterday between West Indies and Pakistan. West Indies got home nine wickets down, Kemar Roach hitting the winning runs. Big raps on Jaden Seals, that's for sure, us chatting to Phil Simmons during the Australian white ball series of late. He and Ian Bishop both very impressed, that young man. Congrats to Phil Simmons and the squad. 14 overs remaining. Coley is back on, back uh, on his perch at first slip. Twice Butler edged in the previous over from Bumrah, once short of second slip and then once past second slip. So Coley has now reinforced the slip cord, an extra man has come in. Jadeja had a leg slip for all of the time that Butler was on strike, plus a short leg underneath the helmet, so strengthened up the slip's cordon. A slight adjustment in line to Butler. <laughs> They're spread a little bit wider than <laughs> India's slips. <laughs> Perfect the space slip cordon, wasn't it? of pigeons on the wire. seen a lot of England in recent times, Athers. There's a test match come to mind where they're in a similar 
situation. God, how long have you got, Mel? <laughs> <laughs> I can remember Jimmy Anderson getting out in, what was it, the final over at Headingley against Sri Lanka in 2014. Rearguard actions from Monty Panasar and Jimmy Anderson against Australia in 2009. And Collingwood and Onions in South Africa, Centurion and Cape Town. So much heartbreak. Which then says to me, what a magnificent opportunity as well, just to try and change that narrative, isn't it? Well, a few of those England survived. The couple in Cape Town, the one at Cardiff, and people remember them. They remember Monty Panasar joining Jimmy Anderson and dramatic last 45 minutes of that game. Even these draws, that was a draw. Very dramatic and memorable. Tries that Yorker. He usually gets it right, he uses it sparingly, but whenever he attempts it, it's usually bang on. Butler, England's vice captain in the absence of Ben Stokes, just talking Holly Robinson through things. Look pretty good so far. 46 minutes, I think, Holly Robinson has been at the crease now. Last ball of the over, Butler wisely says no, 113 for seven. Amazing game. And you put into bat. Such a good position at the end of the first day, then England bounce back. Bounce back through Anderson and then Joe Root giving them a precious lead. And India in trouble in the second innings until that ninth wicket partnership. And also a partnership between Rahane and Pajara. It's been difficult to call this game all the way through. Got 13 overs left. India desperately need to see the back of Butler, his partnership now that has lasted 44 minutes. Butler's been at the crease over two hours. I think what this also says to any young cricketer at the moment who's desire is to play test match cricket and you're a fast bowler or a spinner get in the nets too isn't it there'll be moments in your career where you might be in this situation seeing your player out in the middle seeing your batter at Josh Butler Robinson who's bowled so well in the series now the job to do with the bat Michael Goff not that happy with where Ishant Sharma is, is following through. It's been the case for a few times throughout this test match, particularly to Ishant Sharma. The interesting thing, it's often a different foot or a different stride through as well. He's a bit gangling and we saw him fall over in the in the first ball of this spell after after tea and sometimes he just gets his feet in a tangle and that's when he ends up in that danger zone.
just stroked it really, didn't try and thrash it. First innings when we watched Butler drive, there was a lot of right side come into the shot. He really led with his, his front shoulder and front side there just to steer it through the offside. Under immense pressure, yet looks like a completely different player to that first innings back at Trent Bridge where just looked like a bundle of nerves, really. And now all of a sudden he's out here. The home crowd just willing him on every single delivery. He finds himself at the other end at the moment. fifth day pitch if ever I saw one it just died who can do what Mark Wood did yesterday and he flogged some life out of a dying pitch to produce a lifter to get rid of Pajara which seamer for India can do that now it was amazing delivery wasn't it that ball was 76 overs old at that stage 48. Keeps it out, just jabs the bat down in time. And we have got a dozen overs left, 116 for seven. The beauty of Test match cricket, nearly five days, and the game still hangs in the balance. Oh, All the brilliant innings he's played in white ball cricket over the years, one of the very, very best to have played the shorter format. Batted for over two hours here. Barely played a shot. A bit of luck. through five days and the pitch Mikey is still pretty good to bat on too yeah it's not a difficult pitch on which to survive it's a difficult pitch on which to score your run because it's that slow it's pretty difficult to drive through the line of the ball I've got to wait on long hops or half volleys to score your runs but there's not a great deal of assistance for any of the bowlers once the ball gets a little bit cold By old, I don't mean 6 to 70 overs. This is now considered old in the 49th over on this pitch. Well, he's been very animated throughout. It's the way he captains the side. A few words being said, encouragement to his players. Just making Butler wait. was tapping his head and pointing to the dressing room and signaling two. I think he wants two helmets off. Where will they go? 
One on either side of the wicket. Under normal circumstances, you wouldn't want to be anywhere near there to Josh Butler when he's batting. But of course, in this situation, they'll get as close as they dare. Eight fielders, very close to the bat. Four behind, four in front. Excellent leave. Easy to concentrate on bowlers and the batsmen at this time, but when you're in the slips there, you're close to the bat. Feel the tension yourself. You know that if a catch comes, as Coley still keeps going through, keeps repeating, he knows he's dropped Butler. He knows that may still yet be a crucial moment in the outcome of this game. Hard to rid yourself of that thought. You know it slipped. If it comes, you've got to take it. And 16 for seven. Well, he can't rid himself of the thought. Let's just show you it again. Still 33.3 overs left in the day. He may have had a lot on his mind. He's had a lot on his mind throughout the day. Thinking about his next position, his next move. And it just slipped through the hands. Another thing he may regret the fact that they went back to bat after lunch. I think they needed those few extra runs, wasted a few overs. Yeah, well, he's been mighty impressive, man. I mean, Siraj, he really has. Four wickets in the first innings, a couple in the second. He's bowled uh, mainly from the pavilion end, so he's had the slope coming back into the right-handed batsman, slightly different here, bowling from the nursery end. Was going to bowl, he's not now. Going to be a Shanchan, late change. Holly Robinson has played his part as well. 28 balls he's been in. I think the problem with Suraj is that he went off the field and coming back on, he hasn't been on long enough, considering how long he was off. That's what I saw the Skrill Egg umpire Illingworth going over to Virat Kohli and suggesting. That's another seven minutes to wait. That's why you don't leave the field, Nick. Absolutely. She played a little bit of bounce. has left the ground. Coming at the stumps. I'm going to make Butler play as many balls as possible. Sort of time when you're in the dressing room. I, the dressing room, probably not moved. They've probably not moved for quite a while. Just hoping, fingers crossed, that it goes your way.
Wood will be up there just pacing around. Jimmy Anderson hoping that he's not out there with Bumra bowling the last over or two. This is a stage at which, as a bowler, you should be looking to give the batsman a few drives. See if you can just loosen him up, loosen him up a bit. All they are looking to do now is to block. And the length at which they are bowling is easy to block. Don't find too many batsmen blocking half volleys. Give him one, let him drive, just get him to relax a bit. Yeah, good point, Mike. I mean, particularly when your natural instincts are as they are with Butler when you look to hit the ball, just curbing all those natural instincts as he has done for the last couple of hours and a bit more. Nicely played, another over, safely negotiated, 119 for seven. Ten to go. They'll be looking to get that into single figures, of course, after this over it will be. That's how it goes in the dressing room. You count down, even when you're chasing runs, if you need 120 runs to win, you're dying to see you get into double figures, even 99. Big difference between 199 in your mind. Well, he's played his part for sure, and at deep square as well. So, might be thinking short ball coming. Field is a little bit more spread here. Two slips and a perhaps a six slip. Fine gully. Yeah, short ball. It was always coming because the field just changed a little bit. This gives you a bit of a clue as to what might be coming. It's a great take from Rishabh Pant. Well, he looks calm enough. Robinson, it's that type of character. He too looks calm, but there'll be a heck of a lot of nerves and apprehension inside at the moment. Overs are ticking by, 9.4 to go. Bumrah is trying to pitch it up as far as he can, though, because that certainly would have been driven under normal circumstances. That sort of length, they're happy to just block. At least he's trying something a little bit different. 
That was a drive. But he was quite happy to allow it to come onto the bat. Angle of the bat facing backwards and just drop it down by his foot. I just wonder whether he might go Yorker. Signature delivery, it's what he bowls so well. At the moment, again, the field changes. So no one at deep square now. Leg gully. Short leg, very straight short leg. Silly point. Change of angle as well. He has no gone round the wicket. Well taken as well. And he's gone straight away. Virat Kohli, we're having a look upstairs. By to director, we have a player review for LBW. Original decision is not out. It's a fair delivery. We can move on to front on spin vision, please. Okay, I'm going to need to see Ultra Edge when available. Thank you. that rolling through please keep it rolling through keep it rolling through thank you keep it rolling through all the way to the pad we've got a clear gap between bat and ball no bat involved ball tracking when ready please <laughs> pitching in line impact in line and hitting the wickets I'm going to go back to Richard on field Let's change your decision well the brilliance of Bumrah just softening Ollie Robinson up with a short ball, and then it was a slightly slower ball. Question for Richard Lillingworth, did it pitch in line? You bet it did. Bumra went straight up, and Virat Kohli said, yeah, it is absolutely dead, and he reviewed straight away. Good decision. England now eight down. Well, his long vigil is over nine from 35 balls. England now 120 for eight. Right, Mark Wood, he'd have been pacing around the dressing room for the last half an hour, hour or so. He's out there with Joss Butler. It may be now that Joss Butler has to have a think about trying to protect Mark Wood from the strike. Have a look at the release here from Bumra. It was a slow ball and he rolled his fingers across the ball. You could see the seam rotating as it went down. But it's also excellent control to make sure that you get the ball pitching in line with the stumps. And because it's a, almost like a cutter, it didn't continue straight across the batsman. It straightened a fraction. That's brilliant bowling. Absolutely brilliant bowling.
one over. 120 for eight now. So Josh Butler has to think now how he's going to try and control and maneuver the strike. It's been Virat Kohli throughout the day. Very animated. Had lots and lots to say. But Bumrah has been pretty quiet in the series so far. But is he going to have the final say? Still nine overs still to go. And finally, time has elapsed, so Siraj can now come back into the attack. So Ishan Sharma bowled the last over. Now it's Siraj who's been so impressive in this game. Four wickets in the first innings. Well, it'll be interesting to see what he does, but most cases like this, Butler will try, if he can, to play out the first three or four deliveries. Oh, going down. And then if he can, try and farm the strike. At the start of the next over, that perhaps will give him something to think about. Well, DK said it earlier on. Seems as if every time India take a wicket, they take another one quite quickly after that. Just outside the line of off stump, short of a length, and people will say perhaps he had been leaving balls like that before he could have left that one. Not this time. Virat Kohli knows it's almost over. One to go, but he knows how close they are. Butler, 25 off all of 96 deliveries, but his sojourn also comes to an end. Well, what a change. What a change. What a reaction as well from Virat Kohli. He may have dropped Butler when there was still 33 and a half overs to go, but uh, he will now feel a whole lot better. Siraj has been so, so good in this game. The angle angled into the right hander and it just left Josh Butler had a little push at it and it was a simple catch so Jimmy Anderson walks out with eight and a half or so overs to go it's going to be mighty tough for Anderson and Wood to see this through there's Bumrah at one end there's Siraj at the other and joining me in the commentary box a very happy DK Oh well, this is theatre, this is top-notch, this is unbelievable from India. I've thoroughly enjoyed the body language, the attitude, but most importantly, the will to win, being greater than the fear of failure, and that's very important when you play test cricket. Again, Siraj, he's been special throughout this one, a feather, and that's all India requires at this point of time. Yeah, you can see, it's good replay, you can see, look at the angle going into Butler, he's forced into play, just leaves him, goes down the slope here. And that long vigil from Josh Butler, 96 deliveries for just 25. They are delighted. India are delighted. They need one more to take a series lead. There'll be a bit of chat and there'll be plenty of close fielders. Leg gully, short leg, short mid wicket, two slips, a gully. incredible atmosphere here now not a full crowd by any means but a lot a lot of noise what I'm loving about the Sirat celebration is no more a search it's happiness it's 
pure happiness. He doesn't need to sush anybody. I don't think there's anybody who doubts him. That I can tell you for sure. He's up there, bowling his best. Well, you don't see too many captains react like that. It's very much how Virat Kohli... <laughs> captains aside, and the energy that he gives his side as well. And if India are to win this test match, and it looks likely with eight and a half overs to go, you think they'll do it without any real major contribution from him with the bat. Some runs in the first innings, but not the really big scores that he so often gets. And that will encourage him and his team in an excellent all-round performance. Round the wicket now. Change of angle for Siraj. from India they were up against it England were favorites coming into day five Kohli and his men have just turned it all around they win by 151 they take a series lead a stunning performance if anybody ever doubted test cricket think once think twice but then turn around and have a look at this game it's ebbed and flowed it was India at the start England came back but it's India at the end James Anderson bowling a brilliant spell as usual, but Mohamed Siraj and Virat Kohli, there's been a lot of doubt whether he played the right level here. Should he have played the off spinner? Should he have played the extra bowler or then the batter? But he's answered all his critics. Looks like he made the right decision. Top of off, they say. Yet again, Mohamed Siraj taking the off stump with him every time he goes. Well, they've certainly found a superstar in Mohamed Siraj. He's improved and improved, and he's just seen his team over the line here. He was getting mighty close with Butler and Robinson at the crease. Look at that for a reaction. That's how much it means to Virat Kohli and to India. Anderson has been in the situation a few times, but this ball was a touch too good. The last time he was at the crease, Bumra softened him up. And that's where this test match took a turn, is at least what we all think. Bumrah there at the back of the screen. You can see him jumping and elating. Yeah, Bumrah with the ball now. Three for 33, but it was Bumrah with the bat. And Mohamed Shami turned things around. England had a really poor hour from 11.30 to 12.30. But India were just too good for them. They found a way to get ahead going in to the back end of day five. And the declaration was enough. They are some side. They're a very resilient bunch of test match cricketers now, India. They travel well. Their third victory here at the home of cricket. And perhaps their most precious. The last test championship cycle. They came to the finals and were knocked out by New Zealand. They start afresh now. The first game just slipped out of their hands. Rain played a part. But this time at Lloyd's on day five. At the end, it is India.